Hey, good morning. Welcome to the Overtime Garage, and we're working on a 2011 Camry, which had an issue with the compression. The motor uh, would not start and has bad compression, either from a valve issue or piston and ring issue in the cylinder. So we went ahead and got us a new motor just dropped off and we're unraveling this baby so I thought I'd give you a peek end up just going uh, salvage motor I think it has a hundred and well a hundred thousand miles so it is definitely used Let's see how it looks underneath here See if it looks like a hundred thousand miles. Has been cleaned up. Obviously, they did a good job of straightening it out before wrapping it up. Let's see if we get the little cover on. Okay, there we go. Plugs are still in there, so we're not gonna drop any goobers down in. Hold on a second. Okay, rip that top part off. And so, yeah, this thing looks really clean from the outside, which means literally nothing. So we're gonna have to go on a little bit of trust that the internals are good and that it doesn't have a similar issue with compression or um, it's been mistreated in any way um, but yeah I'm getting ready we'll go through uh, some videos on uh, tearing the old engine out and swapping it in for this one there will be Little bit of swapping going on on the accessories but this looks like it has many of them that's got to be water pump and so we'll have to add a few things from the uh, other motor and yeah this should be a good job
Okay, let me talk a little bit about pulling this old engine out and get a look at it. Sorry for the noise, it's the heater going. This is as it would be in the car. And it was a tight fit coming out, rubbing on that frame rail. There's the transmission side. And then there's the back side. So, put that newer one back in and I'll just point out like for example on the transmission there's two big bolts up top there's a third one here and a fourth one here that was kind of hidden it was hard to get at or see that it was even there there's always one trans bolt that gives you fits that was the one then the others were around on the passenger side threaded in from the passenger side those bigger ones are from the driver's side we left the air conditioning system in just unbolted it and let it sit down there and then same with the power steering pump that's hooked up and full of fluid, so we left that as a contained system. And then this is a carrier bracket for the axle, and we left all that stuff together also. We'll see how hard it is to get it back together with that stuff in place. We might have to take some of it apart to make reinstallation easier but yeah it was tight on this rail and tight to this transmission bell housing so other than that just a bunch of fuel hose or there is a fuel hose here don't forget that one but then a bunch of air hoses and they usually all can only go one place so Shouldn't be too tough getting it back the way it was. Let's see what uh, that brings. All right, let me show you uh, a little issue I ran across swapping these motors. Uh, and this is something that can happen um, commonly. Uh, this is obviously not the exact same motor. And I'll point out to you why. Here's the old one. And look closely at the power steering belt area and crank pulley versus over here, which just has none. So this vehicle, whatever it came out of, did not have power steering. It's just a single belt, six rib pulley. Uh, so that wouldn't be a problem, except that you take this off. loosen this thing took a look closer already notice there's three spots where that would bolt up ideally you'd have those same ones on this uh, timing cover but it does not so that's a, just a different timing cover altogether what it looks like to me is I should be able to remove the timing cover from this old engine and put it on the new one. There shouldn't be any interferences otherwise. Everything else should work just fine. So we're going to try that. I'll show you the results. Okay, let me show you one more trick here with regard to pulling this bolt out of the pulley. I've got a little system rigged up because my giant impact wrench would not break that free. So I resort to the cheater bar breaker bar. And there's a little 
indention here. This can hang up on. I'm afraid of breaking the uh, case. So just to keep this thing from moving around a whole lot, you know, as I tweak on this, I put a pry bar to resist that thing from rotating up and then loosen this guy. So I hold both of these against away from each other, split them apart. This one going up and that one going down. And broke it three nice on both of them. So, and then this uh, pulley just will slide off there once you kind of wiggle it a bit. So that case almost ready to come off. And we gotta take the top valve cover off also. So, here's a little trick for you. All right, we got them peeled apart. We didn't take the valve covers all the way off, just loosened them, unzipped all the bolts all the way around. There's a ton of them. And now, comparing the two, they look identical. So, we will swap those two. And carry on. We'll have to use some uh, gray uh, sealant on this edge all the way around. And with all the bolts that go through there, you can kind of see remnants of the sealant here. So they're obviously common to water jackets or oil jackets, either one. And so I'll put sealant on the bolts and those mating surfaces. Let's swap it. Okay, you guys have all got to witness from beginning to end. This is the engine swap for this Camry. But now the moment of truth is here. We are going to attempt the first start. Uh, I think it's all hooked up properly and we're about to find out. So let's give it a run.
sounds good. That's always nice when it uh, starts first try. Usually there's something wrong. That looks good. Thanks for tuning in.